too, so must notify it about this for history reason. Okay, brief introduction into medical informatics. Right now I wrote their basics because modern time medical informatics it's very broad, large theoretical area of studies. And uh, it's actually was even not only this lecture and not enough to present all possible aspects, but even over seven lectures would be not enough in modern time to present all necessary aspects of medical informatics. Moreover, when you will check syllabus of uh, high developed Western countries, um, uh, it could happen that you will even do not find their medical informatics as separate subject. Because very often in advanced universities it's split between several different several several different subjects. No, and of course typically you will face question related to application of medical informatics on other department uh, because uh, lots of modern uh, diagnostic equipment or laboratory equipment have uh, built-in computer interfaces supplied along with like basic information system for uh, data processing. So as a result, indirectly you will touch this lots of time. So right now, two major questions related to lecture. It's introduction about medical informatics as scientific area and uh, pre brief presentation of available subfields and a little bit more about possible practical application, of course theoretical review of practical application. So in part time I will try to a little bit talk about uh, medicine or possible application. So here like about large number of uh, topics related to general presentation of medical informatics, but actually half of the topics, it's definition of different subfields. For first look from, from overview side, most of that definition very similar, closely one to another, but I will try to point to possible difference in approach there. Okay, as of before we will start with medical informatics, would be fine if you remember <coughs> what is informatics in general and itself. Again, multiply definition of available depend to author textbook article or level of we want to explain deep into. Right now, even I will accept something simple like given there when we talk about information, it's science and art of turning data into information. Like when we want to extract something significant from a raw data stream. So again, to understand this information, it's a nice question to understand what's data, what's information, difference between it. So actually like later I will repeat it, but now in brief, data rabbits like X, everything that we could register or with our senses like eyes, ears, etc. or using technical equipment. So in modern time we are almost unlimited in such capabilities to register some things. So as a result our data streams uh, in each second like uh, extremely huge and we need to kind of or magic or science or something which will allow for us identify something important in that <coughs> raw data stream, extract it and present to scientist or physician, for example. So here is what will be information. And every time, so informatics dedicate to provide such tool as informatic science theoretical approach to, identi to identify information. So please, again, I'm, I want to notify about order and silence. 
Is it so difficult to hear me on these topics? Look like. So, okay, and as you can see every time when we talk about informatics, it's built on top of intersection these three uh, objects, which is available at the intersection at this Venn diagram, this circle is called Venn diagram. So, it's we have we, we are talking about raw data, uh, which is generated by humans and uh, systems, depending to kind of data, and uh, De uh, dedicated to being processed and being offered by uh, some uh, selected uh, human staff. So here we have every time we must understand that about this triangle, data information system and people's cross teams that dedicated to deal with this data or generate it or utilize it or use it or so. So again, to finalize, another little bit kind of definition about as academics fields, we can see informatics as broad academic field, which comprises who has computer informa inf interaction, information science, information technology, algorithm, social science. So in other little bit complex definition, but which provide more detailed explanation what is informatics as scientific academic. Uh, say, uh, science area. So there we need to actually distinguish informatics, computer science, information science, because it's not, uh, not the same term. Sometimes user students mix them all together, but it's actually not fully correct. And if we want to be precise in, termino in usage of terminology, actually I'm trying to be so as a result, we need to use a proper definition for proper things. So this way, computer science, we can consider a study of complex system, complex system information uh, computation using upward mathematics, electrical engineering, and software engineering techniques. So actually, computer science subfields of informatics in general. And information science, Close the door, please, from outside. Close the door. Okay. Information science, in another way, study of processing, management, and retrieval information. So, of course, information science. To implement information science approach, we need computer science. But theoretical investigation in information science does not require a direct application of computer science. So assumption could be done it without computer system. And it's when you will check history, you will see that informatics born early, that's computer even uh, invented and developed. Informatics have larger history. So, and related to, informa to informatics, information science, uh, scientific uh, area, it's information technology. Information technology can be defined as study, design, development, implementation, support, management, computer-based information system. So there we point about computer-based information system. So again, if we try to look in history, we could consider information technology as studying of different information system, even prior computers was developed. Typically, that term was not used, but technology was exist itself. Please. Now, uh, in brief, short demonstration how changes understanding of medical informatics even uh, uh, between scientists within years. So I will like about uh, deep dive about like 20, 35 years ago. And there we can see uh, Professor Shortfield definition about what's informatics. So information science, science uh, using system analytic tools to develop procedures, algorithms for management, process control, decision making, a scientific analysis or of medical knowledge. If you check this definition, we will see there like almost nothing about computer system analytic tools, but not computers there wrote it. So actually, as you can also you can see that 
individual person, individual patient has not been considered there. It's like 35 years ago, and medical medics was exist until that time, computers was exist, and even computers was upgraded into some uh, um, biggest uh, hospital, capital hospitals or so, but not for providing and supporting uh, individual patient care at that time, <coughs> 35 years ago. Okay, another author, but that same year, uh, when Professor Van Bimmel, Medical methods comprise the theoretical, practical aspects of information processing and communication based on knowledge, experience delivered from process medicine, healthcare. Again, we sign about theoretical science. We're talking about knowledge, knowledge data processing, but not about nothing about directly computers or personalities. So here is was just 35 years ago. Now at the end of 20th century. In medical informatics, so same, same person, 15 years later. Medical informatics, we develop and assess, develop and assess methods and systems, systems for acquisition, processing, interpretation, patient data with help of knowledge that obtain scientific research. So like just about at the end of 20th century, medical informatics turn from fully theoretical approach into possible practical application with dedication even until personal level. One more time, I am asking about your ability on silence or and order. to my real work, it's actually also appears that's not my own, not my previous decision about what is most important, what is less important, was correct. Okay. Next point, definition closely to current, several modern definition, and also difference between Health informatics and health informatic technology management and related area. So there, as you can see, I move from term medical informatics into health informatics. Because in modern time, if you will check most of modern textbook, you will see that most time it's health informatics use it as more generalized term to determine all possible aspects of application information technology in uh, medicine and healthcare in general. So, here, like from uh, definition of education system, we can consider health informatics as application of technology tools, information system, in healthcare settings or contexts. And they are shown different between two and system, technology and management, which both are together, create modern health informatics. Like two, it's like hardware as well as software solution, networks, and even uh, storage containers, security rules, and other principles. In this case, under system, we understand. So typically when we talk about system, people think about some kind of computer networks or so, but not in this case. Records, coding, documentation, policy, guidelines, Administration compliance. Under system, we understand they are like 
principles, orders, methods, etc. Management systems. It could be implemented, supported, provided even by tools. But primary importance there comes from system itself. So again, I sign information, hardware, software, information systems. It's only application level. It's only implementation of information technologies. So to solve a problem, we must now method, we must help and we must now method to, to get to correct results. This way, information system, computer system will help us in modern environment. If you don't know how to solve a problem, I'm sorry, current information system will almost unable to help you. As of about future, yeah, because developments in artificial intelligence, it's cutting edge of modern technologies. But if such system will come into activity in closest future, I'm sorry, if system will be able to make, to provide final decision without humans and sorry humans will not be hired for that job and it's reality for example you can check manufacturing process in advanced in high developed countries there it's there most of such tasks done it okay now again more modern definition uh, to finalize this definition of medical informatics. So health informatics also, we can use it. Uh, healthcare informatics, healthcare, uh, medical informatics, nursing, clinical or biomedical informatics, similar but not the same term. And later I will try to sign about small difference in that definition. We can see it as information engineering, even one more modern term, upward to field of the healthcare essentially Management and use of patient healthcare information. So we sign about uh, application on pa on uh, single patient level, and it's multidisciplinary field that use health information technology again sub direction of information technology to improve healthcare via any kind of combination of high quality efficiency uh, and uh, new opportunities. So again, final definition. As of about which one is correct, actually, as for me, about last 10 year definition, I will not, pro, not make significant difference. So we can use any, just it will be like comprehensive. And for example, one more final definition from uh, NLM, United States NLM definition, Interdisciplinary study of design, development, adoption, and application of information technology based innovation in healthcare service delivery, management, and training. As for me, also very fine approach to identify what is medical informatics or health informatics, which is actually more correct to use this term right now. Okay, from previous definition should be obvious that in current time, health informatics, it's not something separated it's like family of different scientific uh, areas subdivisions and uh, tightly incorporated different scientific area which are dedicated to provide uh, final uh, decision and improvements in uh, healthcare area so basics general health informatics again uh, it's intersection of these three major scientific areas: information, uh, computer science, healthcare. So again, theoretical approach, practical tool, pract mix of practical and theoretical tool. So here we have under information science we got abstract solution. With computer science we got first of all theoretical assumption how to turn it into practical solution and finally we can go into something practically like hardware software solution and of course both these areas dedicated to solve a problem which come from 
healthcare area with data, with requirements about make decision on patient, etc. So as of about complexity and involvements of uh, information system and humans into different aspects of uh, data processing. So there we can, you can see a chart which provides <coughs> a little bit outdated information about the role of both these actors with final decision. So like until now, dark green cover more than light green. So even under research and development, even uh, under decision making, we have lots of successful pro projects, which is almost delivered to uh, clinical market and dedicated to, fu to, pro to provide fully automated diagnostic solution, even without human physician. About, I am talking about diagnostics right now, like create decision about possible uh, diseases that this patient has and uh, propose possible treatment plan. Of course, it's costly, uh, high cost solution and accessible, like not in all regions or countries, etc., but it's available. Uh, one of the next lectures about decision support system. I will talk about example like uh, IBM Watson project, which is one of successful implementation and fourth level uh, diagnosis and decision making. So if you are interested in GABO, you can. And even today I will try to present something about Da Vinci's hierarchical system, which is even work on fifth level there etc. So again, just want to remember general principles of uh, make decision and involvements of information technologies in uh, medical areas. So diagnostic therapeutic cycle in simplified representation. And there we have this ellipses represent Le, no, like rogue level of autom support and automation by information system. So first of all, at any initial or middle steps, we start with collect data about current patient history, current observation of current state. Uh, we also like uh, different examination, laboratory test, previous treatment history, etc. We are talking about medical records, medical support, medical records, medical cards, etc. Et uh, in my opinion, completely solved this problem. Uh, lots of information technology solution, uh, open source, commercial, uh, available on market, which uh, dedicated to support this level of activity. So there is no any problem to collect patient data in electronic format right now. Actually, absolutely. So as a result, we will be able, next question will be, so we have technical ability to collect a lot of about patient, but we still left the same problem. We need, despite that we have terabyte, we could collect terabytes data on patient. In case if you want, for example, record several tomographic images, it will be about that, si that size. We will need to analyze that uh, CT scan, MRI, or so, and extract from there something useful, information about possible pathology. So we need extract information and make decision. So, so specific solution like decision making system, support system, and expert system could assist physician in this area, but if you compare size of ellipse, it's like at least two or three or even more times we have smaller capabilities in this case. So because it's, please close the door from outside. I'm sorry, you are not allowed to lecture. I'm sorry, leave the classroom. Leave the classroom. Leave the classroom, please. Leave the classroom, please. Any discussion with you? Kind of 
again, such behavior, personally for me, it's demonstration, great disrespect for me personally. And of course, response will be in the same way. I do not respect. Persons will not respect me and my job. I am sorry for this, but it's my way. Okay. Next question. Once we get kind of the final decision, we make diagnosis. So, we can create some recommendation, treatment planning or so. This will be automated a little bit better because uh, until now, develop a lot of standardized clinical protocols, methodologies for application, uh, for treatment given encoded diseases. So once we come with like encoded diseases with from using them ICD-10 or so, we have capabilities to select standard treatment plan and adjust it if necessary according to individual uh, features of given patient. So as a result, there we have significant large number of systems which could assist in this area. And again, after that, plan must be upward and new data must be collected and we will repeat our order. So like almost each one step now be supported by information system, but on different level of uh, Involvements and success and uh, coverage, like about this. So, as of about subfields and how it, they could be, where they could be found, identified, or so, subfields of medical and health informatics. So, there are just several, just three of it shown how we can find it on intersection genomic medicine informatics. If we talk about uh, clear science on uh, different biomedical investigation, we will talking about bioinformatics. When we are talking about possibilities of application of genetic st uh, studies into clinical area, it will be biomedical informatics. And clear solving general problem on uh, related to medical problems but not preventing, not public health, we'll, we will talk about medical informatics. It's actually, it's one point, I identify one point difference between health informatics and medical informatics, but it will be also right now. So the pair of another possible representation and relationship between subfields of medical informatics. So there we have about descendant tree structure, uh, uh, below a little bit simplified by uh, different um, by specialities uh, representation by specialities or by different uh, topics uh, under medical informatics how we can see so there are actually each one of previous topic we could or represent as independent or use it or expand. So here we have medical informatics under general fields, dental related directly, and nursing as descendant from fields informatics. But according to another source, in other author, we have dental nursing as subfields of medical informatics. So again, I try to put it, we could have a little bit different representation of relationship of different branches of medical informatics. And even in other representation with, medic, with Venn diagram, which provide involvements of different um, areas of activities. So there we, you may as for me, I much more like this one representation and this one chart. So there we have, co it's like for me better represent coverage of different areas. Like we have here in total represent our aspects of application IT in all areas of, of uh, healthcare area. And there depending if you talk about medical aspects, clinical <coughs> aspects, pharmacology, public health, we can find our position, our points under it. 
So, uh, possible application information technology within medical informatics areas. So, like, again, not all, just uh, just few, because we are significantly limited in time, in, uh, in the area of subject, etc. So, first of all, information system which allow to automate the hospital clinical workflow creating and uh, filling electronic medical records supporting uh, decision supporting um, list of terminology medical vocabularies it's as uh, like references and as uh, similar material information resources what's happened uh, and specific solution for information system for different application like perhaps labor, medical laboratory, clinical laboratories, then to automate pharmacy area, pharmacy area to deal with medical image, actually very large uh, set of information system dedicated for this, uh, as well as different monitoring system. Again, list not final, we can extend it, add the much more solution. Here just I want to sign that we have like all this system dedicated to collect data, acquisition, collect data, storage, visualization, for example, for a physician. So here is like, no, maybe identification, some trends, key points, key value, critical value, uh, etc. So that things that level could be automated relatively easy and we have lots of practical solution commercial open source or so another question uh, asked from per diagnostic therapeutic cycle when we talk about create decision and uh, make decision and create therapy plan automated it's uh, required a lot of knowledge a lot of skill for uh, even a little bit imagination, analytical skills, uh, comparative analysis, and other question. So there we have uh, importance of such decision. Most time is critical to uh, further treatment and patient condition, but abilities to make such decision in automate way. Significantly less than just record record and manage data streams. And the last level, it's scientific investigation. Scientific investigation. So again, uh, there we as humans play key role in uh, decision, assumption, and scientific analysis. But lots of solution until now exist and could help uh, scientists in their uh, data analysis and experiment planning uh, and conducting. So just sometime question like um, hypothesis statement and comments or obtained results will uh, until now fully depend to, to scientists. So, such simulation we will have on practices about this. As of about practical aspects of imp uh, application medical informatics for different fields. So, first of all, again, I so it's studying about architecture, electronic medical records, and along with network support, cloud solution, etc. Then, second place again, maybe now. In scientific, in scientific society, it's moved like into fast position. Decision support system development and studying for to create clinical decision support system. Not obvious things said and for, but as for me, very significant. It's standardization and in uh, uh, definition of things and standardization in uh, terminology. So development technical standards, uh, uh, standards for data exchange, like um, 
daikom as level 7 and several rewate so uh, which is aimed to establish exchange information between a different existing information system do it to support <coughs> same kind of information mobility as we have uh, humans mobility now around the globe so there we need to have ability to transmit data on demand about which is collected from within one information system to share with another on permission on demand when it will need so we talk, again i'm talking about technical standards which is used by systems in addition to that we have parks and we have um, much more uh, such kind of standards and last level it's actually development and achievements into uh, standardization of terminology used by humans by physicians doctors etc again with support of kind of information system one like developments under uh, snomed city to improve list of uh, available useful terminology to create uh, to create support and improve like uniform representation uh, of same things so like same diseases could be covered same way within different countries within different uh, lands etc actually it's significant problem maybe not obvious but it's very hard especially if we compare terminology which is used even in ukraine until now like post USSR country with for example United States you will find a lot of difference okay as if we will just try to identify different type of information which is involved in decision making on the heels care and if we can try to depict it with dependencies how the different decision or informa uh, information workflow depend one to other it's would you will like something like this one even again simplified representation we have when we talk about like integration data modeling approach applicational solution and different type of data like clinical uh, omnics like so but data from bioinformatics research uh, and previously collected patient history how it could be integrated and join it together and use it into to describe list of previous case base which could be used to make decision for this one specific particular case for this one particular person and improve this decision with providing continuous care so a little bit more about this i will try to talk on lecture about decision support system but now just to introduce into level of comp real level of complexity of given problem and that's of about modern trend with uh, information in industrial age medicine with uh, uh, new and traditional medical informatics so we can see like attempt and uh, concentration on consumer or on, on each one patient requirements demands troke apply, massive application telemedicine cyber medicine so with emphasis on prevention and health ability to provide kind of self-care or assistant care rather than traditional application within hospital so who ask for me every time if possible it would be fine it would be nice to prevent any kind of illness than made treatment if it would be possible but it's very hard things to really be implemented so again we are talking about application in high developed country even in ukraine we are just a little bit entering to traditional medical informatics approaches to application just just now uh, on and even not on not completely because if we talk about approach to application of medical informatic principles it's like significant 
when we talk about regional cities like Ternopil, but if you visit even uh, smaller towns in Ternopil region, so here we will have lack of equipment, lack of information system, and even lack of everything, but, but, and more difficult situation in the rural ambulances, etc. So it's kind of fantastic, but as we can see, general trend move from clinical medicine into public here, massive public health application. Now a little bit pair of example so about advance of technologies, like hardware components of medical informatics. So if we compare like progress about last 50 years, so there we can see one of the first application of uh, comprehensive information system. It's installation of IBM mainframe 418 into London's uh, Royal Hospital like 50 years ago. And there we are talking about backup back in storage, only storage tool. So it's taken from that track and we use, use it, we use it crane to deploy it into, into building. Capacity 134 megabytes. And even picture above at left top corner, it's outdated because um, like several weeks ago was announced one terabyte SD card, which is deployed to market terabyte and compare to 132. But from other side, later I will try to present, if we are looking for how many single clinical case required to being described, in short, like uh, uh, patient complaints, symptoms, decision, and short description of treat treatment plan, so it's typically in text format with application of coding like uh, ICD-10, 9, 10 or so. Typically it's required five to 10 kilobytes per person per one case. So it's this explanation. Okay, we can collect terabytes of data, but is it it really will help us? Because core of information could be filled in small number of kilobytes, it's enough. So main advantage we have when we will, when we will be able to collect such data within that 40 years, when we will be able to get comprehensive patient history through all his life, which will consist of from that small part about five to 10 kilobytes. Of course, it's without any images, without laboratory tests, just core symptoms, symptom, diagnosis, and like recommendation. But it, at least this core required to make further decisions when we will be able to, to have like millions such or billions such records to provide scientific research or to find interesting, unusual case for educational studies. So here is reason why we need even most interesting for me, not just have large amounts of data, data areas, but keep them healthy for decades. For me, more interesting is the data which was collected within that mainframe still available until today. If so, it's excellent. Okay, now in brief, I will uh, like try speed and quickly pass through definition of subfields. Quickly, because almost all that definition in same way repeat basic definition of what is medical informatics. For example, if we talk about clinical informatics, so we can see is 
that is a combination of information science, computer science, clinical science, which designed to assist management, processing that information knowledge to support practice and delivery clinical care. We are absolutely the same task as for general health informatics, but it's limited to clinical application only. In some times limited, in some times extended with ability to uh, deal with clinical information directly. In other hand, bio biomedical informatics, please uh, remember previous when diagrams were displayed. So study application information technology, computer science, again, same terminology, as well as decision making, human problem solving, cognitive science, standards, policies, and there we extended with advanced area about decision making, different approaches and decision making. So uh, in practice of biomedical science, medicine and healthcare, there we are pointed on conducting scientific research. First of all, not provide directly uh, care for patient, but scientific research. Bioinformatics, no, biomedical, no, with clinical area and bioinformatics, just research, sorry. In, even I mix a little bit. So, bioinformatics, computational biology. We use uh, and uh, usage of techniques including the plin informatics, statistics, computer science, scientific information, chemistry, biochemistry, to solve a biology problem, for example, molecular level, DNA, and related uh, research area. Again, bio and biomedical informatics. So, bioinformatics bio uh, fo uh, focused on scientific research only. And here, possible question difference between, again, to sign difference between biomedical and bioinformatics. What do we deal in health informatics, bioinformatics, biomedical informatics? Like there, we have a left side question application of biomedical principles, health information system, medical our decision making, bioinformatics. Uh, genomics, uh, protection, sequence database, etc. So as of about practical questions that you will have, I will try to present on classes. And actually it's point when I forget in introduction about this. So, important point, it's fine that I remember about this. Every time for each one practice, we will have like broad theoretical area to study, large theoretical area. But practically, I will be able to present like narrow example to implement, to implement some several or even single principles from theoretical area. Again, due to complexity of subject area right now. We will have broad theoretical question and narrow example which provides some kind of uh, some question from given theoretical area. And so, we will have example related to my to tell medicine practice. Uh, I will present example about application of information system. Decision making here, we will provide significant several classes on studying theoretical and development models or simulation of models. Of course, everything would be simply, will be simplified to educational level. So statistical uh, statistics uh, from biomedical informatics area, uh, we will have question on statistics and informatics pro data processing. So, but as of about bioinformatics and also computational analysis will be uh, yes example involved. But right side bioinformatics, it's left behind our this our practice. We will be almost at left, for you left, and at center range, but not right. Okay, public health informatics. Again, any application of information technology to prevent illness. So, the system application informatics and computer science technology to public health practices, research, learning, and there are shown major tasks. Collection, public health data storage, analysis, I look like complex and something abstract. Practically, I'm sorry, students, even if we talk about like usage of um, Moodle learning management system in medical education, what is we actually do in our university, it's example of application of public health informatics principles. Information technology in medical education. It's public, it's sub 
Siberia and the public health informatics. So if we talk about any like YouTube video which is explain how properly clean teeth or how wash hands to prevent kind of uh, diseases. I'm sorry, it's application of public health informatics. Sometimes we we can have like things which is look like something simple, trivial. But if you want, we can use advanced labels and terminology for that things. And it will, will be not wrong, it will be correct. Etc. So formats information. Again, same question. Uh, focused med medication related data and knowledge within continuum healthcare system. And again, related uh, listed sensing. Acquisition, storage, analysis, usage, dissemination. So it's this triangle, like acquisition, storage, analysis, transmission, data, every will be repeated uh, again and again when we talk about information data processing. So same way, news informatics. So DR is supporting uh, nursing of bioinformation system in delivery, documentation, administration, and evaluation of patient care and preventing disease. So actually, it's, again, could be look like that's not significant thing. It's like something trivial. Actually, no. To system be able to provide correct information, somebody must enter this information. And actually, not all kind of information could be collected fully automatically now. So sometimes if we have sensor, if we have uh, laboratory equipment with uh, direct native computer information, okay, we can got this information directly. But to like um, to check implementation of treatment plan, so we need answer: is it given? Is it medicine was given and uh, uh, used by patient? Is it ordered procedure? A procedure, any kind of its injection or massage, or so is it, is it was appropriate for him or not, and what kind of reaction we will be observed, any other claims or uh, or so. So from such small points, we build completed patient history, and as a result, without such information, something significant could be missing. In case if we want to get in future uh, automated decision making. So same in other definition again we have integrate nursing uh, science, computer science, information science. Again same triangle of scientific area as for medical informatics itself. Same situation with dentistry information. In informatics we again deal about such kind of triangle so even in dentistry we have more advanced because there are even computer aided design system could be applied to uh, to to design architecture of these implants etc no it's more interesting for uh, dentistry students now like i'm about complete to about for introduction into Health informatics and try to tell several words about medical cybernetics as a related area, closely related area to uh, health informatics and informatics itself. Actually, uh, cybernetics for significant period was not considered was considered as part of informatics in general. But about after Second World War, it was separated into uh, independent scientific area. And right now it could be defined as interdisciplinary study of structure of complex system, especially communication process, control mechanism, and feedback principles. So related to control theory and system theory. So with cybernetics, we try to explain general behavior of any kind of complex system. Rear glass, what kind of system we have? As we talk about communication system, engineering solution, social society, or so. So all the, from all such kind of system, from cybernetics, it's just system which could be simulated with appropriate model, mathematical model. 
And as a result, model must explain behavior and features and possible uh, possible reaction of given system for uh, like external application of kind of external force, external uh, like uh, in, uh, providing external information is it uh, external force which could be applied for such system. So that we are talking about or physical force or any other uh, kind of uh, uh, application that could be used to. So as uh, in itself we can define informatics from um, from their founder, like Norbert Wiener, we can we can see cybernetics as a recursive process of create single study. We have kind of force that try to move system out of balanced states, and every so it's general assumption about cybernetic system. Each one system want to be in stable state, so any alternal force try to move system out of balance system from inside provide kind of reaction about which is one to bring it again back into stable states not we are talking about original but any possible uh, stable states which could be uh, achieved and here is even as example shown how work our uh, sense and uh, uh, our sensority system and our uh, uh, muscles in reaction if you want to uh, for any kind of uh, alternate signals for example why when we oops, simplest example so when we touch something hot or so we try to avoid take back our fingers or so so that's example how we move system into unstable states within alternate force and the response system to to this uh, like feedback to this input. So with this assumption, cybernetics consider any any real system uh, within like given simplified principles. As a result. It's applicable to uh, uh, to discover basic principles under artificial intelligence, robotics, computer vision, control system, and even until uh, providing automated learning approaches, etc. So, please, students. Major benefits that we can say from application of cybernetics model, it's uh, building uh, computerized uh, cybernetic system which will uh, provide solution and again decisions, uh, decision system, solar automation, uh, simulation, scientific simulation, etc. When we do not have uh, full information about structure of system, just we can provide some kind of uh, <coughs> input signals for it and measure output and based on this results based on system feedback we can try to reconstruct a cybernetic model about behavior of such system so again it's like could sound closely to general informatics uh, system development but right now it's separated and considered as independent scientific area in biology in medicine uh, <coughs> we are uh, studying related to uh, to a possible application of biosynthetics uh, uh, which is focusing on uh, how different organisms animals or not only animals even human too adapt to environment and have information form of again pass it from generation to generation and we talk about list of subfields related to uh, general where 
cybernetic principles could be applied from engineering and into even into synthetic biology and the one of points is medical cybernetics so now uh, we can define medical cybernetics as field of applied cybernetics with which was utilize concerns of cybernetics to medical research and practice so covers an emerging uh, tab. major topics it's not significant okay major topics and the uh, medical theoretic uh, medical cybernetics development so first system to application of system theory in medical science like development of mathematical model of different physiological objects like starting from cell through tissue and etc uh, again system theory or development mathematical model which could provide same information as we study uh, conventional uh, biological samples at the moment a lot of such moment, uh, models develop develop has been developed information and communication theory so describe signal process information storage in different uh, physiological layers so again cutting edge in investigation about how our nervous system and especially human brain works with goal to development of course artificial intelligence system again we are talking about uh, achievements in medical information communication theory and related area, it's connectionism, which is uh, works with information processing in neural network, which is simulation of uh, brain neurons by synthetic models, mathematical models, and general medical decision theory, uh, evidence-based uh, foundation uh, for decision making in clinical settings. So it's actually background of evidence, one of possible background for evidence-based medicine rules development, medical decision theory, development of medical decision theory. Now, uh, to complete fast question of lecture about introduction, definition of medical informatics and cybernetics, from theoretical question to pair of practical imp implementation. Okay, it was our scientific approach. How implementation could look like? Actually, much more difficult. Different, much more easy, sorry. Uh, it's different kind of information system. There are accounting for pharmacy. There are basic uh, EHR system, which like hundreds of such system now available on market. They could, in could look like in different way we could we could see different user interface but every time we have something like this patient data uh, uh, clinical case uh, information etc so in other representation integrated system where we have has been integrated patient data along with images analytical tool etc so solution for dentistry special system for manage medical images okay it's final results of implementation of medical informatics health informatic technologies again at the first at first place we are talking about study as we successful in scientific studies achievements and we have confirmed our results we can preparation and create something like final implementation with information system scientific investigation in first place implementation only possible only when we was success in our scientific analysis okay now for us left how many time about 15 minutes no problem it's like enough brief introduction into one of area for practical application of uh, health informatic technologies it's telemedicine definition objectives classification of system and some examples of it so first of all simply we can define telemedicine as usage of telecommunication information technologies in order to provide 
clinical students, please, again, about order. So, um, telecommunication patient technology in order to provide clinical uh, health care at a distance. Any kind of abilities. So, again, usually when we're talking about telemedicine, most of ordinary uh, people and very often students imagine it's something like video conference between doctors and doctor and patient. Yes, it's possible kind of example, but not only. And actually, it's not major things. Main things, it's ability to communicate, ability to transmit data. When we success in this, we can talk about successful application of telemedicine. And actually, even we have successful example of application of telemedicine, even before this term was developed and starting to be in use. Actually, we have had dialogue was for years, but say people just, just don't know the service. And telehealth, telematics, like uh, comprehensive terminology, so for example, telehealth, refer clinical or clinical services involving medical communication, administration, research. So again, as I'm early provide example about usage of uh, our university learning management system Moodle as example of public health informatics, but we can also consider it as implementation of three heels, such as if students uh, have ability to access educational material on medicine via uh, kind of information system from uh, from outside, uh, not from class, again, it's application of telehealth. So, how we can actually, we are part of process, even sometimes we don't imagine that we are in there, in there, but we are really. So, objectives from my previous words, it's transferring of all kinds of medical images. Uh, of course, first of all, it's text, description, numerical data, as well as images, audio, video, etc. And support of collaboration with uh, medical professionals within clinics, hospital, physician, uh, along with patient. So, with online and offline methodologies. So, even if you have ability to send request and got response, even not in online mode, like, so send the letter with description of problem if it's not urgent and let's say a response even in several days, okay, could be seen. Make voice call to discuss clinical case. Okay, it's again application and we are success in this. Of course, uh, with modern time, it's much better to use uh, any kind of online communication like instant messaging messengers or uh, digital exchange protocol which allow to send uh, securely medical data because every time this came security and privacy question immediately arise when we talk about exchange patient uh, medical records but any kinds of communication if we have ability to communicate and, and review our clinical case, our clinical problem, so we can be, we can talk about a successful application of telemedical principles. And here is an about this chart, how from incident world it was changed, even they don't know such term, but if they send like recipe for new medicine uh, from one tribal to another, okay, it's kind of telemedicine. Like weak may be uh, fairly useful, but it's kind of okay. Modern uh, major achievements was done after uh, technical communication. Uh, uh, technical communication networks was deployed, like radio, telephone, and next achievement it was with development of. Uh, Space, uh, space exploration programs was uh, done it when uh, arise uh, question to remote monitoring of biological samples for beginning for animals later astronauts and even perform management of uh, operation remotely like 
perform some, some any kind of uh, experiments remotely. So actually what we get from space exploration it's advance of telemedicine, it's robotic surgery. So here is what we get from there. Okay, uh, classification of telemedical system in brief. Story of our remote monitoring in real time. Uh, fast cl uh, class. Okay, it's also you can find a little bit another kind of classification, just possible example. Uh, story forward. Uh, provide acquisition information, images, biosignals, any kind of laboratory results, everything that we can record in digital format. Re uh, retail, record and store in digital format, transmission to a doctor, medical specialist, and then uh, at a convenient time it will be reviewed, provide some assessment uh, and uh, make them some decision conclusions. So we are not talking about urgent, urgent case. So very closely to such system, it's remote monitoring, but it's uh, allow, enable medical staff to monitor patient remotely in online. So first time it was online. It was we obtain, we collect some data, like troke uh, from home, troke different sex, and collect it, like, for example, within one day, at night sent to doctor terminal, tomorrow morning he reviews this, or everything okay, and so on, and make some decision. So in remote monitoring, we, we are talking about active monitoring in online mode and provide uh, diagnostic uh, solution, di different diagnostic alarms at any time. So example, it's environment in intensive care units. It's example of in-hospital remote monitoring. But in modern time also, lots of variable sensor developed and could be uh, given for patient, for example, to, remote, uh, to re provide remote monitoring for some critical cases even at home. We to, for example, I'm talking about patient with high risk of heart attack or something. So we can provide automatic uh, heart rate monitor, which will uh, automatically initiate uh, alarm signals in a case of dysfunction or po even possible dysfunction. So I'm talking about things which are already available and even used, uh, available on market and even used in high developed countries right now. And real time interaction between patient and provider or between uh, several providers with online communication for online conversation. In other classification, by function, by scale, if you will check textbook, you will find multiply different uh, approach to classify telemedical systems. So by function, we can see us consultation system, control of diagnostic uh, treatment equipment, distance education, again, our things, in hospital, out hospital monitor, bio radio telemetry, and much more. So again, things which I'm talking about for the first, uh, how typical per use users typically imagine when we are talking about telemedicine, what they think instantly, like such kind of conversation. Okay, so it's nine, nice to be presented, but ability to transmit all other measures from that baby to that doctor, it's much more important that transmit online broadcasting, most time, maybe except several specific cases. Or in other, here is another application, much more useful when we have ability to collect data in digital format and maybe even later we have ability to, when we have ability, for example, to record this uh, echo scanning and in case of we have suspicion that something may be look like wrong send it to any other medical center for to get recommendation or even maybe asking about um, uh, emergency evacuation or, or, or etc so here is much more important so this one case most more important than previous and more useful it's ability to deliver it to rural area, uh, such like uh, collect data from rural areas and transmit it uh, 
to another case. Also, how it could like in modern time. So we have image transmitted to to our central hospital, and so what you have failed fail decision. And actually, this case from my practice, like about how how year ago I faced such problem. I faced such problem with my father, but but it was a region where it was like we have phones, we have communication, we doesn't have MRT to get some. It was not my legend, so like. So again, how it would look like. So sometimes we need just need to scan. Maybe it would not even would not help. But so we got situation when we was not be able to get complete information about what was happen. So we have all communication capability. We doesn't have system uh, to get image, and we doesn't have ability to make to provide evacuation. Okay about how could be built telemedical system. One of possible solution, even we no, no need such advanced mobile system, even obsolete computer system could be used. We just need to ability to integrate different sensor and collecting as much possible more information together. And communication channel to transmit it to central area. So, but if we have budget, could be something like this portable station consulting cards and much more solutions so on market available there even here as below we have right side below we have marketing uh, marketing simulating driving so above it's real it's real consulting system from asia it's working program working process of telemedical consultation how it's real uh, how it's work in real time. And there, as you can see, monitoring object to uh, ability to review. Yes, there are video broadcasting also at central screen available. But most of screen it's contained biosensor data, medical images at left uh, side uh, of screen I see like uh, clinical, uh, medical records uh, chart open, etc. So again, video broadcasting like at last stage. All other, it's ability to access as much possible more data. So, and in modern time, with uh, usage of our mobile device, we have advanced capabilities to, to turn mobile into diagnostic equipment to collect uh, different kind of information. So we have the portable ultrasound, heart rate monitor, uh, turn the camera into microscope, lot of solution, practical dye solution, do it yourself available. Okay, like yesterday I have read uh, article about turning smartphone into uh, portable immunology laboratories with special add-on like an um, uh, laboratory analyzer on chip. But again, data processing core, it's a smartphone application. So lots of and in other cutting edge, it's different sensor, variable device, implants, and other. So all these tools could be used as uh, data acquisition sources for remote monitoring. I think I will be finalized. Finalize robotic surgery, you will pass by yourself. And to complete it, just final structure, how such system could work. We have a large number of device, like we are able sensor implants to collect data. Then we need something like bridge to, uh, to join them together. Typically it should be smartphone or home center. And then Heals network which will bring it to doctor. Okay, that's all. Thank you for attention for that students who